we are going to discuss about policy issues on how the Kenya government responds to the issues related to the rural youth in the agriculture sector. In this case, first, I want to just mention a few things about the agriculture sector. The agriculture sector contributes 27% to the gross domestic product, contributes 27% of raw materials required for the industry, contributes 65% of export earnings, and 60% of total earnings. 80% of the Kenyan population lives in the rural areas whereby they are involved in the agricultural activities. With this now, the policy directions that the government has been taking here in Kenya, one of them is create wealth in the rural sector and also reduce poverty, which is, which is actually a key thing in the rural areas and which is affecting the rural youth. The other policy direction is transformation, commercialization, of the agriculture sector using innovative technologies. The other policy direction is increase or ensuring food security, food and nutrition security. In this case, uh, the current uh, theme of the current government is to attain 100% food security by 2022. The other policy direction is promotion of agribusiness and therefore create employment in the agriculture sector. The other policy direction is innovation through research so that new methods and better methods can be used in the agriculture sector. The other policy direction is improvement of service delivery and creating an enabling environment for the youth to participate more in the agriculture sector. Now, then youth is at the moment being considered or there are policies that have put youth so that they can participate effectively in the policies. We had the National Youth Policy in 2006, which identified some key challenges and proposed some mechanisms of how to handle those challenges. Four key challenges had been identified at this time, one of them being uh, increased population, increased numbers of the youth, inadequate uh, skills with the, the inadequate access to skills development programs, inadequate access to uh, key services like finance and key inputs to agriculture like land. Therefore, programs were developed after this youth uh, policy was uh, prepared. One of the programs that was established at this time immediately afterwards was the National Youth Enterprise Development Fund. And this was established so that youth can access financing so that they can start uh, agribusiness projects. Up to 20,000 euro was invested in this program. Another program that was started after this policy was the Kaze Kwa Vijana. Kaze Kwa Vijana is a soil word, which means work for the youth. And this was also meant to so that youth in the rural areas can be engaged in some activities and therefore they are paid so that they have some income. Also, another thing that was put into policy uh, proposal that was put across that had a direct bearing on the youth was Kenya Vision 2030, in which major programs and projects in the country were identified, through which Invest, once investments are put into these programs, then the youth could participate either through attaining jobs and things related like that. Around this time also, the agricultural sector development strategy was also developed. And this, the, the key thing here was to ensure that youth can also participate in the agricultural activities. Still at around that time, the Kenya got its new constitution uh, Constitution of Kenya 20, 2010, through which funds were devolved to the counties, which makes it easier now for the counties to develop youth programs because they are nearer the youth. The draft agricultural youth policy was also uh, revised now in 2015 and also tried to ex expound on the issues affecting the youth. 
The National Youth Agribusiness Strategy was developed in uh, draft was developed in 2017 to further expound on the issues and to see how you can make youth participate more in agribusiness. One key challenge that has been found is the mindset, changing the mindset of the youth, and this is being done through programs. Um, so that sensitization program so that the youth can view agribusiness from a very positive from a positive point of view. At the moment, we are almost preparing or finalizing the agricultural sector and growth strategy in which youth will play a very key role, especially in the micro enterprises that are going to be promoted and the value chains that are going to be supported extension and things like that will be utilized very much in the STGS. So this will probably provide good environment for the youth. Youth also have been at the forefront of the national policies and some two key policies that have been developed and strategies. One of them is youth in agribusiness strategy and the youth economic empowerment through agripreneurship program. Key things have been identified through which youth can participate. One of them is youth can participate in policy processes so that their issues are taken into account. The other issue that is being tackled through these programs is the skills, skills development, so that we can have adequate models for, mod, mod, uh, for mentoring of the youth. Then the innovation so that Youth can uh, support, can utilize innovative technologies. The other one is uh, value addition, which is a key thing, and that's where youth like to participate in, in the value addition of the agricultural products, and this could provide jobs. The other thing is access to key agricultural inputs, that is access to land, access to, and access to credit, and access, access to market uh, information. This is also being in addressed through these strategies. Other key thing is creating linkages and networks for the youth so that they can be able to aggregate and therefore they can be able to reach a niche, niche market. The other one is, the issue, is still the issue of attitude change and therefore campaigns are being done and the introduction of youth in curric school curriculum so that youth can have a positive attitude towards agribusiness. Now, the, I want now to take you through the process through which the National Youth Agribusiness uh, Strategy was taken, uh, was taken through, or the processes of the policy development, including the one for the youth. The first step was the initiation process, or getting the data and information of what has been done. This is usually done, and uh, a task force is usually established at this point, a multidisciplinary task force, so that all the issues, what has been happening, are put together. Then after this uh, initiation process, an initial draft is put into, into in, is combined and put together. This uh, initial draft not only addresses the problems that are being foreseen, but also proposes uh, things that can be done so that the, you can improve the standards of the youth, especially in terms of employment. Then after the draft, you get the approval of the draft by the leadership of the ministry, and this involves the cabinet secretary and also the leadership, the whole leadership of the ministry. And then it is subjected now to stakeholder engagement and public participation. This is a very key thing, and it's very highly mentioned also in the Constitution of Kenya now, these days, that any policy or strategy has to be passed through, has to have evidence that it has passed through stakeholders. Then uh, after this, then it is validated. And validation in, in means that all the stakeholders are kind of in agreement with the proposals which are put in this in, in the strategy. It is in one of the, 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 the strategies, the youth strategy when it was being uh, validated through a conference where we all had participated 
including development, other develop, uh, GIZ and other development partners. The Council of Governors or the Youth say indicated that they had not been adequately consulted. So it was taken back for further discussion. Uh, and it was is now about to be validated again. Thank you very much.